A little while ago, I did a review of the Nike Zoom X Next Percent, and I tested the shoes to see if they could make you faster. I ran a half marathon with them in the hopes that they would make me faster. And today, we're gonna compare them with some other shoes and see if they can actually make you faster. I'm gonna do a couple of runs and compare them to the Nike Zoom Fly SPs and the Ultra Boost 19s that I have uh, to see if there's a, a big difference in speed and to see if the next percent can actually make you faster. So I'm gonna start the test today on my Nike Zoom Fly SPs. Um, I'm gonna start uh, to warm up a little bit on the treadmill before I go out. That way I can start my uh, faster pace straight away when I start. I'm not gonna be filming outside because that's gonna slow me down and I just wanna make sure that every run is kind of the same. So I'm gonna run the same course without camera uh, and I'll just give you a little rundown of how it went afterwards. Let's go. Okay, time for run number two. Today I'm running in my next percent and I'm doing the same thing as the first run. Just gonna warm up a little bit indoors and I'll head outside for my 5K. So let's see how to do. And today it's time for run number three in the Ultra Boost 19s. So looking back at the results of the test, uh, the first run that I did was in the Zoom Fly SPs. I ran in 22 minutes exactly, which is a four minute and 24 seconds per kilometer. Now the second run in the next percent, I ran in 21 minutes and 14 seconds, which is four minutes and 15 seconds per kilometer. The third run in the Adidas Ultra Boost 19s, I ran in 19 minutes and 40 seconds, which is three minutes and 56 seconds per kilometer. So I was actually faster in the Ultra Boost 19s than I was in the 19 next percent. It's not a very big difference, but still it was faster. The conditions of the runs were pretty similar. Uh, the first one was actually a little better than the other two. It was kind of windy on run two and three. Uh, but still, it, it didn't make a difference for run one. That was still the slowest one. Uh, I don't know if there was a, uh, an advantage of it being the third run. That, that is also the reason why I didn't want to wear the next percent for the third run. Uh, because of my other training and doing long runs and being more trained on the third one. Uh, but uh, the way the runs felt, I actually felt better after the second run with the next percent. I felt like I could uh, go longer, I could still keep running and be okay. But with the other two, I was glad I was done with the 5k because I was uh, putting in a, a lot of effort and a lot of speed on the runs and I wanted to put the same amount of effort in for all three runs, but still I felt better on the second one. Now, I think the next percent can still make a difference on longer distances, seeing that they're a lighter shoe and them being lighter, you have to put in less effort and with a longer distance over time, it's gonna make a bigger difference than with the 5K that I tested now. So yeah, even though I wasn't faster on the next percent. Now, I still think they could make you faster. Uh, I guess the, the test is just not that conclusive yet. It's very hard to compare these shoes on different runs. But I think for myself, uh, I noticed a difference in wearing them. And even though the results of the test show that I was faster with the Ultra Boost 19, the way the shoes felt and the way 
I felt after running, uh, I still think the next percent is the faster shoe. So the test is not really conclusive. I guess you have to do a lot more different runs in order to make a good comparison. Uh, but yeah, I don't have time for that. I can't be running 5Ks all the time. Uh, but still, I do think that the next percent can still make a difference, especially for the longer runs, the half marathon, the full marathon, because they're lighter, it will make a difference, uh, especially with the longer distance. Uh, although the test doesn't show that they make you faster, I did feel that uh, I still have had more energy left after run number two than I did with one and three. So in that way, I still think the next percent did better. Although the, the time of the runs doesn't show it, uh, I'm still happy with the way the next percent performed. Now I hope you enjoyed this test and until next time, get out there and run.